Starship Troopers is a unique artifact of the 1990s. When I watched it, I was a dumbass kid, and only perceived it as a dumb action movie. It is only when I became a dumbass adult that I realized that the movie offered much more nuanced form of social commentary. But no one cares about that. We're here to talk about Helldivers 2, a game that captures the feel of Starship Troopers to such a degree, I half expected Johnny Rico to accidentally blow me up with an airstrike while I struggled to reload my stalwart. I'll be honest here, the original Helldivers flew under my radar. I didn't even play it. But Helldivers 2? Well, that grabbed my attention and shook me violently and demanded I lay down my life for freedom. Imagine if Metal Gear Solid 5 and Starship Troopers gifted the world with a love child. That's Helldivers 2 in a nutshell. Up to four players dive into an alien planet, embarking on missions to spread democracy with bullets and bombs. It's as chaotic as it sounds and twice as fun. This game has finally given me the fascist world we have always wanted to live in. Our freedoms might be repressed, and we might be throwing our lives away for a war we don't understand, but, you know, democracy needs me, and we'll fight, and we'll win. Come on, you apes, you want to live forever? Beyond the laughs, there is a solid shooter here. Mowing down hordes of insects as they surge towards you is a visceral experience, and it perfectly encapsulates the energy of the movie's combat scenes. But don't come here looking for a deep narrative. This is about camaraderie and chaos, not storytelling. Helldivers 2 is a testament to the power of well-executed satire combined with tight, engaging gameplay. It's a love letter to sci-fi fans and a middle finger to the subtlety. So, are you ready to enlist and fight for democracy? Or will you sit back like a f***ing coward and let liberty die? The choice is yours. Service guarantees citizenship. So what are your thoughts on Helldivers 2? Are you a fan of its tongue-in-cheek take on military sci-fi, or does it miss the mark for you? There is a correct answer to this question. Drop your thoughts below and let's dive into this intergalactic debate.